Hey guys, um, it's me. Basically, um, sorry for the long time, um, without any, like, posts. Um, Happy New Year, by the way. Um, basically, December was quite a hectic month, and lots of things happened. And, um, yes, and then, during the holidays, at first I was relaxing, but then after Christmas, um, I felt really, really ill, and I had, um, Spanish and classics um mock exams well not mock exams but like tests after half, half term i'd already done my english literature one but anyway. so i had to revise for them but i felt so so ill so i couldn't revise them for them until much later so then i didn't do much um i couldn't do any videos but now today i had my um english literature no not my english literature my classics and my spanish um mock exams um well, mock tests today and um what's it called and I have another Spanish on Thursday, but I just thought I'd do a little video on mock exams because I know most people are either doing them right now, so if so, watch this after your mock exams, um, or have already done them or did them like a month or two ago. Um, the first things I want to say is well done. Like I understand uh, mock exams must be like must have come with quite a shock. Well, not a shock, but like um, they're quite intense. Like um, you suddenly have like a week, two weeks, three weeks. I don't know. Um, of tests and like exams and I understand how stressful it is must be but so like yeah f well done and first thing I want to say is um many people after mock exams uh, especially GC1s they think oh gosh what to do now like this was kind of all of us last year so the first thing I want to say is relax like you need it like you can't just um like if you've if you had mock exams before the holidays obviously you had the holidays to relax but you can't just um, go back, straight back in, this was me clicking, but it felt, you can't just go straight back into, um, like, revision, revision, like, that's just not realistic, so, now, um, what I did in January is, um, at first, I was a bit more laid back than I had been in September, like, sometimes I just went home and, in, like, the first few weeks, I just went home and watched TV, like, and, um, like, that's absolutely fine, like, you need to rest, like, take some days off, like, completely like don't even do homework like do the next day like as long as it's, you don't get in trouble but anyway um the main thing that people ask me is um like when should you start your revision and um this is the thing so you um this is my just my suggestions remember the best thing i recommend is to build it up like um there's there are many people last year my year um my, myself included to an extent that I was thinking um oh i'm gonna do so so much revision from um january so then we get the best results in gcc exam well that won't work like i'm sorry but it won't work because um if you put on if you do that intense like revision that people do before mock exams before actual exams like from january to um when is it until june you are going to be worn out and many people think oh it's okay i'll just catch up on sleep during the summer well um what's it called that then when you do your exams you're not going to be able to like you're not going to be able to function properly like um what i started quite late because um a lot of things happened last year and i just i don't know i just kept stressing um for actual exams like um i'll say what happened in a, in a minute but um I kept stressing and I didn't start until about late March like um was like full on revision um late March that was the beginning of or near the end of the term and the beginning of the holidays and from then I started doing lots and lots of revision um but um I'm so glad that I did not start start intense revision earlier because if I had I would not have been able to do as well because I remember in my second week of GCSE exams, when I was doing my, when I was revising for my maths exam and my um, English exam, I, I had, and I only did about like half an hour, you no, know, like an hour each the day before for that exam because I was so tired, like I could not stay awake, like even on the bus, and um, even just doing flashcards, I could not stay awake because I was so tired. So, um. If you start from if you start too early, too much too soon, then you're just going to be too tired. So, uh, but however, what I'm not saying is don't do any work until March or something. The main thing you should do is build up. So like, do like maybe like a bit, um, like half an hour, um, or an hour after school each day. Like usually you'll have homework, which, um, in year eleven it becomes more, 
like exam questions, um, revision, mind maps, etc. Um, the main things that I did were um, like. Up, uh, leading up to March, we're doing flashcards, um, learning simple things like um, vocabulary for languages, um, doing some past papers, um, and um, I can't remember. Yeah, fl flashcards was the main thing for me, like making my flashcards so then I would be prepared for it, like in the future. Um, but yeah, so also because you need to just slowly build up your, you need to like slowly like build it up because if you start too much too soon then you're going to be too tired and you're not going to get the results you deserve which would suck because like I understand how that feels like you've worked so hard and and then you don't get the results you you get that you deserve and you just don't deserve that like you deserve much better so yeah don't start too much too early build up like do um do a bit like don't um don't just much as I say you do in May in May or April like do a bit after school, but then try to relax a bit. Um, the main thing that you should do is um, just get all your notes together, get all get all the information you need to know, and then start learning some information. But like, um, like for example, as I said, uh, vocabulary, math formulas, some science facts, but just not too much too soon. Like, um, do as you would at the beginning of revision for mock exams. If you get me, like slowly build up. Um, but the main thing I wanted to talk about this video, like it took me. How much? Six and a half minutes to get to this point. Oops. Um, is feedback. So I know I sound like a teacher, like, oh yeah, you need your feedback. Like, you need to see your strengths and weaknesses. But like, you do like mock exams. Um, they may even if they did not go well. Like that. First of all, that is okay. Like, I know people that got like twos in their mock exams, and then got like eights in the actual GCC. Like, okay, that's, that's sometimes that's a bit of, of a stretch, but it doesn't matter. Like mock exams you just still don't know all the content you still don't know how you, you you don't know what suits you like you may not know what revision suits you yet you may not know how you deal with exams yet and that's okay like you still have um four no five months which is good and so you just need to keep practicing like think of this as a dress rehearsal of the actual thing like it really doesn't matter like no one cares about mock exams like you won't go you won't see you won't like go to a job and they, and them asking you, oh, what did you get in your mock exams? Well, if they are even asked if what they got in your what you got in your GCSEs, that would be weird. But anyway, um, so these are the main things that I told some people that I know. So get all your so once you get your grades and your papers back, um, so these are the main things. So science. So look at everything that you got right, and then look at everything that you did not get right. And take a note of all the things that you did not get right. So then you know that you need to put more emphasis on it. And the main thing that I recommend is... Um, flashcard. Uh, the main thing that I recommended that I did, which really helped me, and I gave this tip to some of my friends and it really helped them, was um, making flashcards of all the questions you got wrong. Like, um, I have an example here. Um, what's it called? How was crude oil formed? Like, this was um, a question, I think, in one of the specimen papers. Like, I did a lot of specimen papers. And, um, although it, if you got it already in exam, it's unlike, although it is unlikely that it will come up in an actual GC, uh, first of all, it still might. Second of all, there may be a similar question, like, it could be slightly worded. Or third of all, like, um, you can still use this, like, for example, if they had a six mark question saying, like, how is, um, compare crude oil to i don't know i haven't done science in like seven months but um you could still use it like you need to um it helps you learn the basics so that's the main thing i did like just go through your papers and right and um make flashcards or mind maps or anything that you do of the things that you got wrong and then um what's it called even if you saw even if you got something right but you think mm, I just guessed or mm, I don't think I'll remember it's like make flash color that's what I did and I kept revising it and I kept doing it and then in the exam in the actual exam I felt so much better like if I if it had not been for those I would have uh maybe not failed but I would not have gotten um like as high as, as I did like I got a 5-5 five five, but I did foundation and I started and on the year I was like on a two so yeah um maths um this is another question that people ask um maths go through your paper and go through all the um all the certain questions that you didn't need which is good 
because maths is more like topic integrated like um you could so you may have gotten um 100 percent on the questions which were circle theorems but you may not have gotten 100 percent on the um algebra questions or you may have gotten none of the uh, vectors right because you forgot to revise it right go through your paper and make a checklist of all the topics that you need to work on um you could do two like urgent and not so urgent like the one the not so urgent ones being the ones that you sort of got right but um not to not get that much right um i don't make sense like it's quite late and i'm tired <laughs> but uh, um and then throughout the next five months you can learn all of them like um i although i still recommend doing past papers and revising like everything you can focus on this like um for us um after our um, mock exams um they just they told they gave us a list of all our weakest topics like based on that exam and they said um your homework is to like do um exercises on these on this maths website and then they'd also give us like past papers which i've everyone found really helpful so i definitely recommend that now that and um, the other thing get, when you get your exam backs um when you get your exam back what's it good ask for what you could ask the teacher and the marking well don't ask the marking but look at the marking and ask your teacher what you could have done to get better like note down not everything but like as much as you can like in english like just get 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 your paper get your essays and uh, go to the teacher and say what could i have added that could have made this better what well, and also what did i add that made this good and make a checklist of all the things like add everything down like even if the, if in the teacher in the class the teacher says oh this student added this in his essay which got him an extra mark write note it down and remember it and then you can use it in your next essay like sorry i know i seem aggressive but like that's what i did and that's what um some of my friends did like all the tips that we got in class of what to include to, in in essays to that would help you get more marks we did that and then we got higher grades and yeah so that's why i'm putting a big emphasis on it like um yeah know everything that or well, not everything but like yeah j just go to your teacher and say what could i have done what could i have done that um that would have improved this essay and get him to get him to tell you everything and write it down and if you can try to redraft it like one day after school like um redraft it and add all the things in and then get him to, get him or her to look at it again and tell you what you could have add what you could add or what you don't need or anything and just if you keep on doing that and make keep like a note of it like make it into a flashcard or into a mind map and keep it like in your mind and if you just do that then when you get to GCSE exams you you're going to be like you'll be great so like yeah um sorry i'm really not making sense but all uh, right uh, let me just see and n th that's not just for English like that's for uh, like to be honest that's for all of your exams but it's more essay writing so like history geography um classics religious studies um what else are there I don't know um languages listening um anything and just ask them what you could have done to get better exam uh, no not language just the same this language is writing and speaking ask what you could have gotten and ask for anything that you could sprinkle in like that's what our teacher always used to say like once he'd say um once my english teacher told me i can't remember um oh that in english language um if you ref if you had a counter in one of the questions then that could help you get the highest marks like uh, and i wrote i noted that down and i made it into a flashcard and that helped me get better um so I really recommend that. And that also brings me on to the next thing. Um, languages. Get your papers and highlight. Go through. This is what I did. Like, I keep saying this is what I did. But, like, that's what I'm giving advice. Because this worked best for me. I know it may not work best for everyone. But, no. Anyway, this worked best for me. Go through all your paper and highlight all the words and all the structures that you did not know. And learn them. Like, learn what they mean. Uh, some of them, like, they may be really, really well, and you might think, mm, I, don't, I don't think I'll be able to learn that, but, like, make a list and try learning them, because then, when it, if you learn all of those, when you get into your next exam, um, you will, you, there'll be, since you'll know all those words, it'll be much easier for you to understand, like, that's what I did, like, I just went through the exam, and I just highlighted all the words that I did not under, I did not understand, and I made them on flashcards, I made, I learned them all, and that helped me, so, yeah, and it, and it's not just me, like, I've, I asked a few people in Spanish and they said that they did something similar, like they just kept getting more and more words from this website, Duolingo, and that helped them. And um, yeah, 
that's a good sorry I kn this is not the best quality video but uh, let me just see if there's anything I need to say um also back on the thing that um I was saying about um revision too hard like revising too hard um I don't know what this was um if you do like decide to do a lot of revision like remember to like take breaks but I don't just mean like half an hour breaks I mean like day breaks like you could do if you wanted to um you could do um if you wanted to um like a full on day of revising on Saturday uh, which includes homework and then um a full day of relaxing on Sunday and then yeah because um if you just had if you just work non stop from January till June as I've said you'll be exhausted and you won't be able to do the best and that's not fair on you because you deserve much better so yeah um and one last thing I need to say I'm sorry if I mentioned it before again experience is good like if you've done badly that is really fine like you don't know what's best for you you don't know um you don't know how your cope things how how it would be like and it really like it's fine like and even if it was your extra juice to see it like that does not determine the person you are like it doesn't determine it doesn't determine whether you're a nice person doesn't determine if you're hard working doesn't determine any special skills you have it just t says how well you did on that exam on that day in that unit like it doesn't mean anything about you um so yeah thank you for listening to this rambly weird well not weird but like you know rambly disorganized vlog i hope well not vlog like video um i hope this has been useful to you and yeah uh thanks for watching and more videos are going to come soon so yeah